Kids, we repeat at school just for polyfist. Of course, we're polyfist kids. We dance like this in the nightclubs. Shoo! We're polyfist kids. Of course, we wear Kathmandu jackets <laughs> to watch our groups perform. <laughs> of course, we're polyfist kids. We lie to our parents so we can stay at practice longer. Of course, we're polyfist kids. We sing even though nobody asked. Mua-i-a. Wow. If you grew up in Tamaki Makoto in Auckland, it's it's our story. It's the story of every kid that grew up in Polyfest. Uh, Auckland, like, proud story. It follows the story of a young girl named Benina. The new student at a, at a new school in South Auckland, she joins the Samoan group. She auditions to become the Tao Po. Uh, everyone hates on her, everyone turns on her, and then she leads her school to victory, and um, she kind of realises um, she needs to make peace with her mum and she needs to be comfortable in her identity. <laughs> Yeah, we're really lucky to have each other as mother and daughter. Polyfest isn't just about dancing, it's about cultural identity. Cultural identity! <laughs> you are not a true Samoan. Oh, it must be nice. She never taught me, but it's my fault, I can't. I'm finding my character really... I feel like we get along. I can somewhat relate to what she experiences, coming from a strict family. Competition is fun. It's all about power. When we have Polyfest, like it's life or death for some of these kids because Polyfest is like the biggest event on the Auckland calendar. Just as Jesus died on the cross, you must die for Samoan food. Yeah, I think for me personally, like um, when I was asked to be a part of it, um, naturally because I've been involved in Polyfest, I couldn't say no. me like um, I used to tutor once upon a time and so um, when Lecky had asked me it was like a nice way to relive those moments. Yeah I'm similar as well I did um Samoan group for St Peter's College uh, Mountain Road thank you very much and um, yeah when I got asked to jump on yeah I was just, like keen as. All right Moana it's been enough. What about Katrina? What I love about her is being a mean girl because it's totally opposite to, like, the character's definitely opposite to what I've <laughs> done. Ah, She's so are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> opposite to what I am. <laughs> no, like, remember, your hands are like a light sprinkle, like droplets of rain, you know? Yeah, not this hideous splash the water, like some of you do? Uh, I tutored Polyfest for more than 10 years and I decided to put all these memories and everything into, into, into a script. Because everyone sees the nice pretty performance at the end at Polyfest but no one sees the drama and um, the heartache and the like struggle, what it takes to actually get there to, to the Polyfest stage. Someone group is priority over everything else. Polyfest is luck. The music in the show is pretty much a recollection of all of our favourite like hits from our Polyfest archives from the time that we taught Polyfest. And of course it wouldn't be a Samoan show, it wouldn't be a hit if we didn't have some of those Samoan bangers in there, eh? Bob jams your parents dance to when they're all out. <laughs> wanted to stick to the traditional instruments instead of you know having a drum kit or like a bass keyboard. guitar keyboard um, we wanted to just keep the guitars 
and percussion. Percussion, like bake, apa, and and the bass drum. Yeah. Just very colorful, very vibrant. Um, and there's a lot of good feel moments in there. It's loud, it's proud, it's energetic, it's brown. Yeah. Um, it's us. I'm Gordon Chankum Tong. Today, we're playing Read, Read My Lips. First word is kaula kaua. Tawa tawa. Please. Kaula kaua. Kaula kaua. <laughs> Your next word is lay fa tai. Lay. Lay ai. Lay ai. Lay ai fa fa tai. Your next word is awa le pese. Lay pese. Awa le pizza. Awa le pese. Awa le pese. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The next word is Pakua Moa. Sa Moa. Nah. Makua. Nah. Pa. 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 Si. Moa. 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 Yeah. Pakua Moa. Pakua Moa. Yeah. The next word is 685 to your speakers. Next. Six. Next. Six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Six eight five. Six eight five for your speaker. <laughs> Six eight five on the radio. <clears throat> your first word is up the tour. Up the tour. Oh. Your next word is shoulder charge. Shoulder charge. <laughs> next one is sapa sui. Oh, sapa sui. <clears throat> You know why? <laughs> you know the time. Why? <laughs> Next word is Hawaii Malipo. Hawaii Ma. Ma. Oh, Malipo. <laughs> Next one is Awale Fefe. Awale Fefe. Next word. We stay ready. Quick. We? Oh, we. Yeah. We sang ready. Stay. Oh, we stay. <laughs> We stay ready. We stay ready. We stay ready. Ready now. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner of Read My Lips. We win together. We win together. We win together. From HHI, Silver. Um, this was in 2011. Mm. And this one actually came first. Yeah, this is the year that we um, competed against we each other. <laughs> really? No, we really. To fresh, where the art is arting and the math is mathy, because four plus four is eight. And these girls know a little bit about that. Stop on Corbin. I'm Chantal. I'm Emma. And we are the Hush family. family. And today you're in our, our world. How do I keep it funny? Keep it funny. We're currently in our home in Greyland, and we are probably one of the last islanders left on these streets. And it's also been a home for not only our family, but friends as well. And forever grateful that our grandparents decided to migrate here to New Zealand to create better opportunities for us. Me and Emma are two of three kids to our parents, but there's about seven of us all together. Like, if you know island families, mum and dad bring up all the other nieces and nephews. And our connection to Corbin is like a... <laughs> our Hutch family tree is like the branches the of dew. <laughs> so we were all very young and our Auntie Mafa, she just one day wanted to start a dance crew. We actually all started dancing at church. Mm -hmm. I was doing like um, church performances and stuff. I think she just kind of saw potential in all of us, even though we didn't see it at the time. <laughs> it took us a while. Yeah, and Auntie Mafa <laughs> just started a crew and we were called Little Saints and 
from there, yeah, we just stuck at it and um, that's where we all started together. Yeah, Little Saints, I think, holds a very special place in our hearts. It's where everything started for us. Mm -hmm. We're jamming at birthdays, family functions, and from there, she started entering us into competitions. Hi, my name is Zayn and Emma, and um, I'm five years old. And it kind of just really grew from there. I don't think we ever thought that it was going to be as big as what it became, an opportunity for us to be us with our cousins. <laughs> and stay off the streets. Yeah. And get out of the house, because we it took us everywhere. This is um, a medal from HHI Silver. Um, this was in 2011. Mm -hmm. And this one actually came first. Yeah, this was the year that we... Um, Competed against we each other. <laughs> really? No, we were like... <laughs> Yeah, it was the first year that we competed um, at the same time at HHI, and yeah, I had, um, I was a bubblegum, we came first, and these guys came second, but for me, it was more special that I got to compete against my cousins and have them place two, yeah. and like, we went like, side by side on the platforms. That was more for me than us coming first. Did you leave us <laughs> to go to London? Did you fly to the furthest place <laughs> to get away from these two? <laughs> <laughs> now I moved to London just for more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, New Zealand is um, too small for me, unfortunately. So yeah, I moved all the way to London um, just to pursue, I guess, more of a journey as a choreographer. So I'm there at the moment working at a dance university called Shockout in Manchester. So I started Street Woman Fighter 2 in June of last year and it pretty much took up the rest of my year, which I was not expecting. And definitely a eye-opening um, experience as well, because I've never been to Korea and I've never stepped foot into like the K-pop world. And the many opportunities that you can get over there. Mm. Uh, the show itself was very new to me, never been on like a reality TV show, so kind of just took everything on the chin <laughs> and just went with it, but it was really fun and definitely learnt a lot of things. Little Saints is still running as a crew under Saints Dance Academy as a dance company. So we have uh, multiple crews within that um, academy and I'm honoured and privileged to be the director of that company now. And Little Saints has been running since 2006. Mm -hmm. We've been in the dance scene for a long time. We're um, the longest running yeah, dance crew. Mm -hmm. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a fun fact. <laughs> I'm Skeevy, I'm full Samoan and a full-time student here at the University of Auckland, and welcome to my area. Let's go! This is Albert Park, where I come to decompress, uh, to Bible study, and of course, <laughs> exercise. I usually do about 100 squats, 100 burpees, 100 Russian splits. <sighs> so come join me. also known as cultural space, just a place where our Pacific Island students can study, can relax, it's really a safe haven for us, and where our student um, groups organise. <laughs> We're 
here at the Fale Pacifica where I work at the university and I love it because it reminds me of home. It reminds me of Samoa and it creates a sense of belonging here at the university for students like me, for Samoan students. Thank you for joining me today and letting me show you my area. So far, so far, keep it fresh. Kia ora tāra falava, bula vanaka, whakala fly atu, and welcome to a fresh new game show, Village Knockout. Du, du, du. and welcome to a fresh new game show, Village Knockout! Du, du, du. <laughs> this is a game where two teams go head to head, competing in two mini game rounds. But if there is a tiebreaker at the end, we will go to a sudden death match. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that was, that was dry. OK, let's meet our challengers. Talo Falava, my name is David Santaniello. I am 25 years old and I'm an actor. Talo Falava, my name is Edi Hana Eureka Filipilia. I'm 20 years of age and I'm an actor. Kia my name is Nia. I'm 24 and I'm a musician. What's up, everyone? I'm Big Al. I'm 23 and I'm a musician. It is now time for round one. Teams will battle it out in a mini game that we like to call Wrap It Up! <laughs> Okay, so challengers will battle each other in a battle riff-off style, okay? You'll see. Guzos, you go first, yeah? Got in my car and I wait for a drive. A drive in the sky, wow, so high. So high, like the clouds up there. Up there is where I wanna be. Get on your podium! Get on your podium! I'm gonna give that point to the Musos because the Musos rhymed the word and you guys used the exact same word, which is not a, technically a rhyme, yeah? Okay, actors, we'll have you guys start off first, yeah? All right. I went to the bakery to grab some pies. To grab some pies to get me high. To get me high up in the sky. Up in the sky, I'm a guy. I'm a guy and I love my pies. I love my pies, but I should stop before I die. Before I die, I should probably cry. Probably cry. Hi. Yeah! Wow! Yes! There's one to the actors, there's one to the actors. So that is one one to both teams. This will be the deciding round for who takes it out. Where the musicians start first. My favorite shape is a heart. A heart? Wow, that's so great. That's so great. <laughs> Yeah. You know, technically, it was a nice line to end off here. Like, that's so great. That's so great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that is a nice... <laughs> so, you know what, I'd give this round to the actors. <laughs> the winners of our Wrap It Up go to... Actors! <laughs> yeah! Our second game is called... Prop Off! <laughs> Woo! I will give the teams a prop and they are to use the prop in any other way besides its intended use. Are you guys ready for the first prop? Yes. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah? Okay, so we'll, we'll give it to the first, first contestant. Mom. Yeah? I'm still at home. Oh, son, I forgot to put the gas in my, my car to pick you up. Mom, this is the fifth time you've done it the in The fifth road. time? I am trying to find your dad. You know what? <laughs> Bye. Let's go, Eddie. And I'm moaning Whoa. tonight, my ear. To the back. Thank that was you. good, that was good, that was good. Oh. Wow. Oh, right, right. It's a bit much, yeah? Oh. Six feet under. Dig that grave, dig that grave. I like it, I like it, I like 
A water bottle. That's very simple and yet yeah, it's effective. Ooh, I like it, I like it. OK, change it, change it up, change it up. Oh, oh binoculars. Do you see that? I can finally see my dad that left to get the milk and he didn't return. Oh, that is a point and that is hitting close to home. Wait, jump. Are you really jump? I see no, point, jump. point, point. We love our PS5s. Is this another cream donut? Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Point. That's a point. Oh, bow tie. Point. I love it. I love it. Yeah? You ready? You ready? Come on, Patrick. Oh, jellyfish. I like point, 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 point. <laughs> oh, weed cutter, weed cutter. That is a definite point, and I know you do that for a living. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they would have cut you if it was a real knife, so no <laughs> point. 15 more seconds left. Come on, come on. How's sound? Good? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. sounding boom. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. Okay, boy. Moe, moe, pepe, That's a point. Five more seconds. Four, three, two. So one. am I going to see you again? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That is a point in all of its forms. As you know, it was a tough two rounds, but nonetheless, we must find a winner. So this week's winner is Team Actors. <laughs> here you go, here you go, here you go. Okay, that is all from us here today, but join us next time as we battle it out in Village Knockdown! <laughs> Come back next week for more fresh. Welcome! It's time to start a new chapter. Tonga's next top talent. That's me! And what's your talent? <laughs> My talent? Are you serious? Malalele! <laughs> Tell for lover and welcome to Read, Read My Lips. Lips. Whistle tone. Whistle tone. Whistle tone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Perfect example of what not to do.